Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. <clears throat> As you can see I am here in um well I went and went I just went and forgot the name of the town. Mind blank and stuff. Um what's the name of this town? Uh hold on. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, roads. There it is. <laughs> uh, anyway. <clears throat> okay, so um, I wanted to mention a few things before we get started. Um, the last two episodes um, that came before this one, I recorded those back-to-back -back on the same day. And so, mine was like a couple weeks ago. Um, so you guys, I asked you in the in those both those episodes if this uh, quest over here with Sadie is a chapter ender because I um, was concerned about getting Buell's um, bonding up to level, to you know, max level. Um, Has seen an Gavin? <laughs> uh, before we end the chapter because of apparently some extra scene that happens if you have a fully bonded horse at the end of the chapter well um so you guys answered me of course but i also looked here why don't we go somewhere else where there's no uh, people talking yeah anyways i um <clears throat> Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I, I looked it up, too, though, because I, I wanted to know before you guys had a, uh, were able to answer me, because the videos hadn't come out yet, and you guys didn't know my question. So I looked it up. Um, I didn't look up any spoilers or anything. I just looked up a chapter list to see how many there were, and the names of the quests that are in them, and saw that this quest with Sadie is about in the middle of the chapter. So we're about in the middle of chapter six, which is the last chapter. Um, there's an epilogue afterwards, which I've heard is just as long as a chapter. So, um, but anyways. Hey, mister, that one <laughs> nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one of Catfish Jackson's. Lady, no, no. Not now, thanks. All right, suit yourself. I'm just, you know, trying to talk. <laughs> Honestly, people seek him out to interrupt. Oh, hey, look. There's some herbs. I'm going to get them. Those are, um, yarrow. So I, um, no, don't eat it. Oh, I accidentally eat it. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Okay. Um, before, um, Oh, I picked and eat four species of berry. No, no, that's a challenge. Okay. Pick and eat four species of berry. Anyways, <clears throat> as I was saying, before I looked it up and before you guys answered me, I wanted to make sure I had Buell leveled all the way by the time I recorded this episode. So after I was done recording last episode, I spent some time just doing stuff that would make him gain experience and after a little while well you know what well I'll tell you this while we go on our way because we are on our way here that's why I came down here to Rhodes <clears throat> so we can we can go ahead and just ride while I talk um I I started wondering, you know, because, you know, you can get a horse your different experience. Um, you can get experience for your horse different ways. Grooming, feeding, riding, um, leading, uh, calming, lots of different ways you can, you can get, your horse can get ex uh, bonding experience. Um, I wanted to figure out what was the best way to get experience, the fastest way. I, I did a quick Google search and didn't come up with, didn't find anything. Um, people had theories on what was the fastest way, 
but there wasn't like any evidence to back up their theories. So I was like, well, I guess I will do the research myself. And so I did. I, um, I checked the horse's experience um, in, in the menu. You can go there, here. In case you don't know, in case you haven't played this game, there it goes. If you go to player, and if you go over to uh, horse, you can um, go down and see the bonding. Now, he is max level, as you can see, but before they gain max level, it'll actually say what the bonding level is and how much experience has gone towards that level of bonding. So down there where it has a little um, horse head icon and it says level four of four, um, it would say like for me, um, he was level two when I started this, it said level two of four and then underneath it, it would say experience, um, it would say something like, it was like, you know, 1200 of 900. I mean, or 1,200 of 9,000, whatever. Something like that. And every single time you, the horse does stuff, you know, even just like riding and, um, and stuff like that, you, he would gain some experience. So you can come back in here and see how much he's gained. Like if you, if you feed him, come back in here, see how much he's gained, lead him, groom him, whatever. Okay? So I did that over and over just to see. Um, cause that's what I wanted. I wanted, I wanted numbers and I wasn't finding any numbers on, um, online, at least not in a quick search. I didn't have, I didn't want to spend tons of time on it, but anyway, you know, the top 10 searches, search results didn't give me the information I wanted. So that's why I was doing it myself. Um, and so I did each of the actions that the horse will gain experience by and did the math to see how much um, experience points he would earn with each action. Uh, hold up. Sorry. Open your eyes. You missed my turn. Anyways, I just realized that I don't have my hat on for some reason. What's up with that? Uh, where is my hat? Is it? There it is. Okay. Um, and so I fig I, I discovered that they actually have different levels of um, experience gained for each action. So grooming, um, <clears throat> I noticed that the initial grooming, like, so if, if your horse is dirty and you go up to groom him, he will gain five experience points towards his bonding from that initial grooming. If you keep pushing the button over and over to continue grooming him, he will only gain one experience point. Wow. You got you got here fast. You were just in Rhodes and now you're here and you don't even have a horse. That's interesting. Okay. Well, anyway, so... Continuing to groom your horse after he's you've already done the initial grooming um, doesn't gain them much more experience. Um, hitching your horse to a hitching post or to the ground or to a tree, whatever, um, gains them 15 experience points. So much more effective than grooming. Um, feeding your horse only gains one experience point. Um, I'm not sure if that's completely accurate though, because my horse wasn't hungry when I fed him at the time. So I don't know if a hungry horse gets more experience than one that's not hungry, but anyway, that's just what my results were. And so then I discovered that leading a horse is actually the best way to gain experience Mister? because when you lead a horse, they you gain, they gain 20 you points experience points every 30 seconds and so all you have to do is lead them around and they're constantly gaining experience even more so than even more so than riding now i didn't do the riding i didn't do the test for just riding your horse around i didn't uh count that one but some other sources on line said that 
that um, leading is the most, the best way, the fastest way to do it. Um, they just didn't show the numbers of why that's true. Anyway, that I just wanted to share that because I thought it was interesting. And if you guys are playing this game and wanted to know how the fastest way and hadn't ever learned it yourselves, there you go. <laughs> leading your horse around. It only took me about 20, 30 minutes to level him um, two whole levels. So I got him up to... I'm well, sorry. I got him up to level four. So he's max level now. Um, <laughs> Anyways, we're here. So we're supposed to meet Sadie at this bar. This is not the first time we've met her at this bar. This is not the first time I have struggled to find a hitching post at this bar. Hello. I mean, I know there's one right here, but okay. Wheel then. Anyway. You can rest now. <sighs> Hopefully that wasn't too much boring information for you guys, but I, I found it very interesting, so I wanted to share it. <laughs> okay, let's go do this. We're going to do this quest with Sadie. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? Why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Mm. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men we're gonna attend the event ourselves and follow him on to the scaffold well let's hope not but if i could see that son of a bitch breathe his last i think i'd die a happy man we are gonna disguise ourselves in this <laughs> in this <laughs> okay come on why does she always wear yellow? It's really not a very well, nice color for her. Don't we just look the part. We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to well, eternity. Amen to that. Keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? <laughs> as long as it's not by, you know, elect electric chair. They didn't love that one. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Sure. Oh, here comes somebody. Stay here. Don't do nothing. 
Oh dear. Of course it can't just be simple. Go rush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Hmm. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Get to it. Yeah. Hmm. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Of course. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Okay, so I need to get up on the roof. Um. Would it? Oh, Arthur. Here's a ladder. Okay. Hey, I've climbed this ladder before looking for the art gallery. Find a way up to the roof and stop it. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Okay. So, there's the art gallery. Um. Well, I can't jump over this railing, so I can't go that way. Um, can I get up here? Well, come on, I... Hmm. Is there a... Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Look for ladders or staircases to access... Th I am. That's what I'm doing. Can I go out this window? Hi. Can I... There must be outside. Excuse me. Oh, excuse you. I said excuse me already. I'm trying to... I can't... Oh, there it goes. It wouldn't do it before. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. More, any more ladders? There's no more ladders. I don't think I can jump up anywhere. Jump very high. I... No, I just... Um... Can I climb this pipe? A roof can be accessed by staircases leading outside. Uh, staircases leading outside? What? Okay, so maybe there is one. Oh, hold on, maybe in that room there. Can I jump up here? Oh! <laughs> Alright, maybe this is a good Gallows, gallows, which way was it? I don't know. <laughs> it was across the street. Approach the shooter's location. Aha! Stop bugging me with uh, messages. Got, hey. There's not a shooter there. Uh oh. There's a gun. Uh oh. Your boss is gonna swing. Ah.
Oops. Show me that soft underside. Oh, did he drop his knife? I didn't even notice. You're skinnier than I thought you'd be. Welcome. There goes your escape plan. Abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches Where's up Where's Dutch? Well, <laughs> oh. as well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Cole Mordrystal, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task <laughs> we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Oh yeah, that's that's gonna help matters. Of course, we can't. Morgan, you hear us? Yeah. What O'Driscoll? I can't see. Which one's an O'Driscoll? That one? Okay. That one. I'm covering you. I actually can't leave my scope view. I thought I shot this guy. Where are you? I'm... Oh, I missed. Where are they? She was gonna do that. <laughs> well, it could have gone worse, that's for sure. Back at camp. How you get on, Arthur? Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? <laughs> he just drops the envelope on the ground. My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you. 
and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that, and it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much, and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years, and I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Hmm. Wow, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Well, so that went nowhere at all. <laughs> um, we've got new quests now, now that that one's over. Let's see where they are. Um, eagle flies, okay. Dutch has convinced eagle flies to take action against the military. Oh, look at them jumping off a cliff into a river. That's gonna be interesting. Um, that's it. That's all we've got. Okay. <laughs> well, I was hoping there would be other stuff, but I guess not. Well, we have time, and so since this is all we have to do, I suppose we need to go to, go and do it. Hmm. I was hoping this um, one would come up another time before that, but uh, yeah, it's, it hasn't. But I do want to do this one, and uh, people suggest that I finish this before the chapter ends as well finish all of the parts of this one. I can't remember her name, that woman who lives up there, the widow, um, because after the, this chapter ends, you can't do it anymore. You can't finish it. So I will try. Um, I'm assuming that we will offer the entire thing before the hey, end of the chapter. Morgan. So, oh, hi, Bill. I don't know what I'm doing. Left, Arthur. Where'd he go? I, I don't know. He left me a note told me I should do the same. Why? Well, I think he's worried. <laughs> he's a right to be worried. You worried? Sure, but I still think maybe things will turn out okay. You, you'll steer Dutch right. I know you will. <sighs> I'll try, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> really, I will. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we should take a little few moments to actually like. Why are you prowling around here? What do you mean? Javier. Well, Javier doesn't like me anymore. I don't think. Arthur Morgan. Okay. <laughs> There's like hardly anyone left here anymore. So, Reverend Swanson left, did he? Okay. Just out of the blue. Mr. What? Morgan? No, Uncle. <laughs> Is there anyone to... Does anyone want to talk or do anything? Talk about what's going on? I haven't talked to anybody in a while. Hey, Arthur. Hi. Mary Beth. Apparently not. I mean, not really. Charles. How about you? You want to talk about anything? Hi, Charles. 
Okay, Arthur. Nope. Okay. Cool. Um, how about what's his name back here? Um, oh, and there's food. I should get some of that. <sighs> it's all over. All over. It's... I don't want to die. Not like this. Not. I don't want that. I don't. It's all so sad, Mr. Morgan. So very sad. I... Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I can't... Oh, there it goes. I know things seem bad. We're gonna die here. Don't give up just yet. Okay. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Sure. Pearson. <laughs> okay. How about you, so you think, Phil? You think Dutch has lost his mind, Arthur? I don't know anymore. I'm not sure I even care. Well, Micah... Micah says you've been saying crazy things about him. Micah. <laughs> Keep an eye out for Micah, Bill. He says a whole lot. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Now you can see how the camp is divided. Hi, Jack. Um, I'm going to pour myself some coffee. I can't talk to Jack, apparently. And uh, get, I'll get some food as well because um, Arthur needs all the help he can get these days. <laughs> Silverbell's still here. All right, now let's see. Can I get stew? Yes. And then we'll head off to. Meet eagle flies. Don't let it go cold. Come along. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> Let's feed um Buell. Two. There you go, a Buell. Apple. Cool, All right. Eagle flies. Um, hold on. Let me check the map. All right. I suppose we can go that way this time. That's the way they took us when he came here to get me. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bill. Go, 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 go. All right, hold on. Where am I actually going? <laughs> so, I don't even know. I'm just meeting them somewhere near Valentine in a random location, I guess. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. Well. Okay then. Well, there's poor uh, Hamish's cabin. I'm gonna go inside for a second. Just because it still kind of bothers me that I couldn't bury him here. I mean, hmm, yeah. All this stuff is gonna go to waste. The, uh, the canned fruit. <laughs> 
I suppose I should take some of it. I can s oh yeah, there's a cabinet under there, okay. Gin, I can't take it, I have no room. There's still a fire burning. Well, come on. Yeah, look at all the things that he hunted and, and stuff. Oh, what's this? There's nothing in it that I can pick up. Okay. Well. Here, let's look at this one. Gun oil. I have all the gun oil that I need. Okay, well, that's it. Nothing uh, really here. A lot of fish in this lake, though. So far, I mean, I haven't done tons of fishing and, or looking hey for great fishing sites. Eh, I don't want to bother with wolves How you doing, boy? at the moment. Okay. Um, anyway. grew on trees. Mm, how would it grow on trees? Maybe in a tree. Like you poke a hole in a tree and whiskey would pour out. <laughs> but, or like what? Would it grow little flasks? <laughs> little flask fruits with whiskey inside? <laughs> yep. Well, it has gotten dark. So I think... I'm going to make camp before I actually get there. My goodness, there's still a fire burning here. Okay. But first I need to get down off this hill. Yep. Then we will make camp at the earliest opportunity. I suppose what I could do is just, you know, plot my camp down in the middle of the trail and it would teleport me to the nearest acceptable location, wouldn't it? Oh well. Are there only people here when there's a quest here? Or is it... I think so. I think... There's like no one here at the moment. That's odd. This area is really... Um, it's got a lot of predators around here. Come on. Run, go faster. Yeah. Anyway, I think we camped near here. Um, yeah, just a couple episodes ago, didn't we? When we were on the way up to Wapiti. Huh. Okay, well, out here in the the grass is probably a good place. Like, uh, you know, just off the side, probably, any little place right here would be work, would work. Yeah. Whoa, easy. Alright, let's try right here. Oh, there's a fort there. Did I know that? Did I know there was a fort there? Fort Wallace. I think I've heard of it. I just never ridden by it before. Huh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's do this. It moved us into the trees. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go right to sleep. Uh, yes, eight hours. That sounds good. I don't know if we'll have time to do this quest by the time we get to Valentine. This episode's almost over. Well, I guess it's just going to have to be a little bit extra long because it's not long enough to stop just yet. So. Okay. Now where are we? Oh, it moved us closer to Fort Wallace. No. Where were we? We were... I guess 
guess we stopped like right here, didn't we? Somewhere close to there anyway. I don't know. So it didn't put us too far away. I think it just put us across the street, actually. Yeah. So we were down here, weren't we? Yep. Yeah, we were right there in that. Somewhere. We were somewhere near here, anyway. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Hi. We're almost there. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Oh, it's raining. Hmm, what are they planning? So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. <laughs> okay, and what guns did it decide to get me? Look, look at this. It gave me random guns. People will see these boys. They won't notice us. Not the guns I want. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem and we'll disappear up the river. But first we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pick up the spool. See, I don't know what the point is of equipping your guns in advance, like. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. You know, like you can equip them at a gun shop so that you, you, you make a loadout, basically. So supposedly the game's supposed to equip your guns that you have in your loadout, right? Or at least that's how I understood it from different people's tutorials that they that they had on YouTube. Except for some of that dynamite. <laughs> you well, it doesn't work. Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. They'll play drunk. The perfect man for the job. Anyway, I have done that several times. Come on, attached wire. I've done it several times, and it doesn't. It doesn't. It just grabs whatever gun he. It just. I don't know. Random guns. Like it's. So, you finally got to see Colonel Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Come on. <laughs> He's got to think about it for a minute first. I think that should do it. Come on now, quick. Get back up here. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Okay. I think I 
see some movement in the distance. Oh, I'm running to the wrong spot on the cliff. Ah! Quick now, Archer! Everyone into position! Okay. Oh, you want me to do the thing? Of course. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. What signal? Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. <laughs> like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. Uh-huh, sure. There they are. It's never that simple. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. What are they gonna get? Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. Okay. They're not gonna get, you know, hurt by that. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need get hurt. Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No, you're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! See, I, I knew. My father won't be happy about this. Oh my gosh. Okay, what, what do I have here? I don't. Oops. I want. Um. That's it? That's all I have. Oh my gosh. What a bad, bad choice. No. No, I don't want that one. My my worst gun. It gave me my worst gun. Well, at least they're quest soldiers. Uh oh, they're coming up the hill. Look out! They're coming up! This time you pay for what you've done. We didn't want this. Ah, get off the rock. Get off the rock. Take cover. Arthur, come on. Oops. Go to hell. Um. This is this is dumb. It's amazing that these guys actually survive. Ah, don't walk off the cliff, Arthur. You pushed us to this. Take them down. You fools, you damn fools. It's the army. It is one regiment oh. of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We <laughs> move. have to move now. Then we move. We're gonna loot them? Okay. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their calls. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. <sighs> okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, duh. <laughs> Find anything? This whole thing is yes. bad. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking.
Come on. Hey, you were supposed to die. I shot you twice. Arthur, what are you doing? I can't turn my camera. Okay. What? Okay. Where is he? I need to get a different angle. Sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. They decided well, to do this right next to the just fort. About according That's to the plan. Just I'm trying. I'm perfect. trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me. I'm just I'm worried about folk. I know. I Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! They should have ah, run on. a long time this ago. He's gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave now. What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on. Hey, we need to ride hard. Stay with me. Yeah. Okay. Take our horses down here. What? No! Why? Shot Dutch, I almost shot you in the face. More on the left. Where are they coming from? They just come out of the woodwork, literally. Dutch! You, you say that all the time. His horse got over here. Die! No, I shot him three Let's times. Keep going. Follow the pass. It's gotta spin us out somewhere. This our horses totally would have been able to come down here. Maybe not in a fast way, but Behind us! Hold them off! These guys are these guys have guts. Just barreling down that line corner. Oh come on! Okay, give me my camera so I cannot fall off the cliff. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Arthur just going wherever he wants to go. The camera not letting me steer so I can see where I'm going and he's just running here and there. I'm not even... <sighs> we gotta keep going. Yeah. We would have been out of this by now if this game wasn't the way it was. Let me move! Move, Arthur! Move! Can I just take cover, please? Let's run, 
Dutch. Uh, that's what I said already. Okay, now give me my camera so I can actually do it. Arthur, run straight. I have a feeling we're going to be jumping off this cliff. Because I had a spoiler. Oh, come on. <laughs> of course the bridge is broken. This is it. This is Suddenly they stop shooting at us. Well, Arthur. Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay. Okay. <laughs> Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. <laughs> Keep your hands up and come here. Are we surrendering? Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man. Oh, I am supposed to surrender. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was following Dutch's lead. He said that they can't surrender, so, uh, I wasn't. <laughs> Fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Gravity. Okay. Um, ah! Ow. I'll. This is wonderful. Where'd Dutch go? He's way ahead of me? can't be good for okay. Arthur at all. <laughs> You're okay. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> I know. What a mess is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. Oh, no, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is he? He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. my horse oh wow how about that <laughs> well you guys there we made it through not all in one go but <laughs> this game 
sometimes it's very aggravating but <laughs> sometimes the characters uh, whether this the horses or the people running on foot sometimes they'll just swerve out of the way the way you're trying to go and go a completely different direction it's quite aggravating especially if you're near a cliff anyway <laughs> that is the end of this episode you guys I went over time so I will see you next week oh hold on before we leave today's episode I want to find out what we have to do next I have to meet Charles okay and what's this Sadie huh part one okay and that's about it all right well maybe I'll go Go do the Sadie one. Give. Let's, let's take a break from Charles for now. <laughs> and all of that mess with the Indians. Okay. Anyways, you guys, until next week, I will see you later. <laughs>